Hello students, how are you all? Today's topic is density and relative density of an object. First of all, we'll discuss what is called density. Density means mass per unit volume. Mass per unit volume means first of all, you have to calculate the mass of that object. Object say we are taking a stone. We are given a stone and we have to find the density of it. To find density, you require two things. First is mass. Second is volume. To find the mass, we will use physical balance. Physical balance. See, physical balance. Okay. By using this physical balance, we will find the mass of that stone. Then we will use measuring cylinder. Yes, by using measuring cylinder, we will calculate the volume of that stone. Fine. So first you have to calculate mass. Okay. First you have to calculate mass. Then you have to divide that mass by its volume. Okay, so mass will measure by physical balance and volume will measure by measuring cylinder. Then we have to divide mass by volume. If you divide mass by volume, we will get density of the object. So density equal to mass by volume. That's why I said density means mass per unit volume. Okay, now if you measure the mass in gram, I mean in CGS system, okay, in CGS system, mass is, unit of mass is gram and unit of volume is centimeter cube. So unit of density means gram per centimeter cube, okay. Now in SI system, SI, in SI system, mass is kg and volume is meter cube, okay? What is the unit of density? Kg per meter cube, kg per meter cube. So we have to remember these units, CGS unit and SI unit. We have to remember this. Okay. Now, one more condition you have to remember. Say, the density of an object is given in gram per centimeter cube. That means in CGS system. In CGS system, the density is given, dime, sorry, gram per centimeter cube. We have to convert it into SI system. That means gram per centimeter cube to kg per meter cube. Kg per meter cube. So when you are converting the density, remember density from CGS to SI system, we have to multiply 1000 with it. Okay, into 1000. Fine. So if the density of an object is say 2 gram per centimeter cube then what will be in the SI system? The SI system value is 2000 we have to multiply 1000 so 2000 kg per meter cube in this way we can convert CGS to SI unit for density now clear? so density is mass per unit volume now, relative density. The idea of relative density is very simple. Just you have to divide the density by the density of water. Fine. The formula of, to find the relative density of an object. Say in the previous case, we have taken a stone and we have calculated its density. Now, if you want to find the relative density of the same stone, then what do you have to do? See, relative density, RT, relative density equal to 
just you have to divide density by density of water fine density of that object you have to divide by density of water but one thing you must remember density of water at 4 degree celsius fine density of water at 4 degree celsius because density of water also changes with the temperature but we have to take the density of water only at 4 degree celsius fine now density of water at cgs system let's see density this is the density of water in cgs system is 1 g per cm cube and in si system it is 1000 kg per meter cube okay just two values we have to remember understood now we know that unit of density unit of density is either gram per cm cube or kg per meter cube now what is the unit of relative density relative density does not have any unit yes relative density it has no unit because it's just a ratio the ratio of two densities okay density by density so you can cancel the unit and unit okay so whenever you are cancelling unit and unit so you unit, since units are cancelled so relative density does not have any unit so if i ask you this question then what is the unit of relative density you will say relative density is just a ratio that's why relative density has no unit so an important question what is the difference between density and relative density you know the answer density means the mass per unit volume relative density means the density of that object by density of water at 4 degree celsius got it second difference the unit of density is gram per cm cube or kg per meter cube relative density it does not have any unit because it's a ratio now as i discussed relative density equal to density of the object by density of water at 4 degree celsius now we will expand this formula let's say relative density equal to density of the object by density of water at 4 degree celsius fine now we know that density means mass by volume so let us put the value here density equal to mass by volume mass of the object by mass of sorry density means mass by volume so volume of the object fine mass by volume mass of that object by volume of that object now density of water means same way mass of water at 4 degree by volume of water at 4 degree fine now the volume of the object and volume of water must be equal i told you in uh, archimedes principle yeah if you missed that video archimedes principle the link of that video is there in the description box you must check that in archimedes principle we discuss that when an object is immersed in a liquid then the liquid level goes up that means some liquid gets displaced and the volume of that displaced liquid is equal to the volume of the object immersed understood so the object which is immersed and the volume of that liquid which is displaced 
that volume of that object and volume of the displaced liquid are equal okay so volume of that object and volume of water are equal understood so if i continue this calculation mass of the object by mass of sorry mass of the object by volume of the object into this one will get reciprocal volume of water at 4 degree by mass of water water at 4 degree fine now as i told you volume of water and volume of that object are equal that means volume of the object and volume of water are cancelled so what we are getting we are getting mass of the object mass of the object by mass of water at 4 degrees celsius so we got another formula of relative density so what is the first formula of relative density first formula is relative density equal to density of the object by density of water at 4 degrees celsius now here we got another formula what is that formula the relative density of an object equal to mass of the object by mass of water at 4 degrees celsius okay but remember the volume of that object and volume of water are equal okay so according to our last formula what we got we got relative density equal to mass of the object by mass of water at 4 degree celsius fine but you have to remember the volume of that object and volume of water are equal okay now both the numerator and denominator we are going to multiply them by gravity okay small g let's multiply it so we are multiplying this by gravity we are also multiplying this by gravity okay now mass into gravity mass into gravity is yes weight we know that weight equal to mass into gravity so we can write that mass into gravity means weight of the object okay and weight of of water at 4 degrees celsius fine so this is another formula of relative density so relative density equal to weight of the object by weight of water at 4 degrees celsius but don't forget the volume of the object and volume of the water are taken same now if you remember we discussed in archimedes principle that when you are measuring the weight of an object in air and then when you are measuring the weight of the same object in water then the weight reduces yes why the weight reduces because of force of buoyancy and the how much weight is reduced that is the weight of displaced water we know that let us write it so we already know from archimedes principle that weight of an object in air then weight of an the same object in water okay say weight in air is 5 newton say this is 5 newton and say the weight of the 
सेम ऑब्जेक्ट इन वाटर इज फोर न्यूटन ओके एस आई टोल्ड यू दैट वेट रिड्यूस ओके नाउ इफ यू सेपरेट इट दैट इज हाउ मच वेट इज रेड्यूस्ड वन न्यूटन इज रेड्यूस्ड सो इट्स वन न्यूटन एंड वट इज दिस वन न्यूटन वन न्यूटन इज द वेट ऑफ डिस्प्लेस्ड वाटर सो इफ यू सेपरेट इट वी गेट वेट of displaced water yes that means weight of water equal to weight in air minus weight in water so instead of weight of water i can write weight in in air minus weight in water fine now what is the numerator weight of the object that is weight of that object that is in air so weight in air fine so we got four formula to find the relative density what is the first formula according to the first formula relative density equal to density of the object by density of water formula number 2 relative density equal to mass of the object by mass of water fine formula number 3 relative density equal to weight of the object by weight of water formula number 4 relative density equal to weight of the object by weight of the object in air minus weight of the object in water so we have to use this four formula to find the relative density of any solid object understood thank you